Yo! Welcome to the off-season. Got some good and bad news. Good news. We're national tips, boy! Beat Georgia 35-28. Boom. Take a look at the draft results. Nada. Not even Malik Mitchell, dude. That's so stupid. That's so... That's so dumb. I mean, we had guys that could legit be contenders on rosters. See if we got any transfers. Uh, right tackle out of Vanderbilt. Okay, sure. Why not? He's a freshman. Let him develop. See what happens. Advance to the next, which is recruiting. You guys know that recruiting is the bomb.com in reference to what made this game so famous. And, you know, here this game is uh, basically five years old now. People still playing it. It's got a small community on YouTube, but you know what? It's still going, man. And personally, until they put out another college game that's remotely close to this, I'm still going to keep playing it. So I don't see the point in giving it up. And you guys have so far, I keep spilling stuff on my bed because... Just give me one second here, just kind of cleaning everything off. But, anyways, let's get back to it. So, here's where we're at. Kenneth Williams, number one overall dude in the nation. Um, still on his board. Kevin Cruz, Scott Gore, Robert Anderson. Pretty much guys I was using to shore up the depth. You know, by the time they're seniors, they should be good enough to start i mean we definitely need to start bringing in five stars maybe they'll start coming this year i don't know maybe even four star dudes but we're third on his board jonathan moore we're second so we're 1400 behind there almost 2500 behind here i do want to get these dudes so we're only ahead by 50 you know what I think it's smart to dump. Since I really want this dude, I think I'm going to dump 6k into him just to be sure. There's 6k. I'll pump 5k into Jonathan Moore. I'll pump some into the other guys. I'm not going to do too much. And whatever's left over, I'm going to split between Williams and Monroe. I wish. Let me see. Six, seven, eight, nine, ninety-five. So there's five. So I've got 4,000 to play with. So let's go. What do you think? Let's go 500. I'll go 500 with him. 500. Hmm. So that's 2,500 points. And what do you think? Let's drop it down to 8K. 8K is a lot in a guy. Yeah, that looks good. So, so far, Christian, Roland Christian, Paul Walker... Bryant Fields, Brandon Anderson, Cameron Wagner, and Mike Foreman. So that's an... I feel like that's okay. I'm not sure if we'll get Jonathan Moore. Not really worried about it because we still got Justin Rankin and um, uh, Nick Thomas. I think his name's Nick Thomas, the Juco transfer running back. So Kenneth Williams, Jonathan Moore, these two guys. We're going to leave them there. Let's see where our class is sitting. 68th. Okay. Oh, well. So, all points have been allocated. 
and let's advance to the next stage. So it's pretty much like a hurry up and wait. Which is, I guess, whatever, but... Now, I do want to say thank you to all you guys that have stuck with the channel. You know, like, I've seen it steadily grow over the past year. I've tried to throw in some other videos, like, you know, like PUBG, Destiny 2. i um, been playing Battlefield with my friends lately. So, boom, got both of them. Not really worried about losing Kevin Cruz or Robert Anderson. Bam, that is amazing. And Kenneth Williams is a corner, so we make out with two more fives. We got another D end to develop. I'm digging it. Let's go ahead. Yep, we signed two five-star prospects in the offseason. You can't ask for more. Let's go to our signing day. Check it out. I was going to live stream this, but I'm going to blow through it pretty quick. So, Scott Gore comes to us. Kenneth Williams. Man, we, we beat Arkansas by 4,100. Yeah. Good choice, Kenneth. Jonathan Moore. Dang, we beat Ohio State by 3,100. Okay. And then, so we lost Cruz and Anderson. Christian, Walker, Fields, Anderson, Wagner, Foreman. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. And they're saying Kenneth is going to be a corner. So let's see what he can do this year. Before we proceed, let's go to where we moved up in the world. 18th. Boom, son. Boom. So top 25 for the recruits. Look at that. That's one, two, three, five stars. Oh, yeah. I don't know where these dudes came from. The, these are guys I didn't target whatsoever. I don't know them. But I guess they decided to come to my school anyways. Whatever. I guess we're just going to have to start cutting some people. So let's go to position changes, man. All right. This is looking beautiful. All right, there's Justin up at the top. Okay, Agner, Simmons, Chase Washington, Tyrone Berry. He decided to come to us? Okay. Probably redshirt him so that we can have him for a while. <clears throat> 86, eh, if he gets close to 90. We'll see what it looks like. Running backs, Justin Rankin, Nick Johnson, both seniors. Jonathan Monroe, there he is. We're definitely going to see what we can do with him. 94 speed. I'm wondering if I should make him the starter. Ah, We'll incorporate him, though. Travis Smith, he's there. And then Dustin Thompson. I don't remember getting him, but we'll redshirt him because if he's, you know, a gem, if he's a plus nine gem, then why not? Fullbacks, we're definitely going to need one. Actually, we're going to need two. Wide receivers, we seem set on. There's Foreman. Foreman might drop down to number three, the number three guy. We'll see. But Johnson, Foreman, Flynn, Edwards, Christian... Wayne Jackson, Snyder, and Paul Walker. Let's see, tight ends, Cameron Bowen, Ryan Henderson. Okay, should see these dudes. What is Bowen's blocking? God, he was bad. Let's see, carrying, catching, spec catch, catching, route running, jumping. Uh, come on. Block shedding rating is a 26. What? Pass blocking is a 60. Run blocking is a 63. Okay, that should go up. It should go up. So, left tackle, we got Mike Arnold. He's still there. Left guard, we've got Zach Corrigal. He should improve. Anthony Mobley's there as well. 
So we do need a left guard this year. Centers? Uh, I think we're pretty much set. Got another center. Okay. Right guard. We've got Nate Johnson. 86 overall. Not bad. And right tackle. Oh, right tackle. We're weak. Hmm. He's a transfer, but looks like Sullivan may get the start. Sully may have to get the start. Looks like he will. Left end, David Wise. Right end, Reggie Culver. Okay. And then Eric Turner behind him. Turner had a good year last year. He got six sacks last year. Just coming in as a replacement. Played only like three games, but... I mean, the dude did just fine. Defensive tackles. I'm excited about this one. Clifton Richardson, Lawrence Burgess, Akeem Ennis. So, we're, yeah, we're going to need D tackles, man. We're going to need that. Left outside linebacker, Aaron Davidson, J.R. Williams, Josh Crowder. One middle linebackers, Dalton Hicks. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. We're, we're going to need a middle linebacker bad. Right outside linebacker, Billy Young. And then Bryant Fields coming in there. Okay. Corners. Mackenzie Thomas. E Ivan Nelson. Josh Hayes. Joey Franklin. Whoa. This is not looking good. Ugh. All right. Well, we can do something about it. So, freshman, junior, senior. Do I have any extras? I'm wondering if I can switch him to a corner. So let's go. 6'2, 182. We'll have to redshirt him. We got our kicker and we got our punter. So let's go to our athletes. Kenneth Williams. Says he can be a running back too, but I think he's going to be a better corner. Let's throw him at the corner. Wide receiver. See if he's anywhere near the other ones. Uh, he's just going to be a wide receiver. Okay, boom. 75. So let's go... There's running backs are set. Wide receivers. Wide receivers are looking great, actually. That's like the one thing that we do have going for us. May have a couple dudes that are... We may just have Justin Johnson in the 90s. But, yeah, that's, that's looking solid. So we're going to need quite a few guys this year. Training results, see what that gets us. Hopefully, uh, Brian Agner shoots up to 90. Hopefully, he does. Training results. Okay, there's Justin Johnson. He's a 92. There we go. Agner's a 92. That's what we needed. 92 overall. There you go. Good job. Simmons shot up 83. Washington, 74. Washington actually improved the most. Running back Rankin at 86. Johnson, 82. Travis Smith, 82. Fullbacks looking okay. Wide receivers, 92, 83, 75 for Joey Edwards. Jackson and then Schneider. Okay, tight ends. They're looking okay. It's a left tackle. Mike Arnold, 78. Left guard. Zach Corgall, 84. Center. Josh Fowler as a sophomore is a 76. Hmm. Right guard, Nate Johnson, 91. Nice. Right tackle, Mike Sullivan, he's 70. But he was like a freaking, what do you call it? A 50-something. He's got 99 awareness. He's got good excel now and good strength. So left end, David Wise is an 80. Right end, Culver's a 78, defensive tackle 82, 82. That's good enough. Linebacker Aaron Davidson, 75. Dalton Hicks, 85. Nice. Outside linebacker Billy Young, 74. 
corner, 82, 77, 77. So I've got one, two, well, the guy that we transferred over there. So we've got one, two, three, four. So that's four starting corners that can hold their own with the speed. But Chance Morse and John Brown, <laughs> these guys are going to get destroyed. Uh, we might be hurting here. Okay, Peoples, 73. Akeem Peters is an 86, so the back end looks okay. Kicker, Jeff Taylor, 69. And our punter's there. Okay, let's go to the next stage. Cut players. Hopefully, we don't have to cut anybody. Let's see if we do. Ah, three. We gotta cut three. I actually... Well, one, two, three. We can get a better guy, so we'll cut Barry. So there's Jonathan Monroe. We'll keep Thompson. We need to keep him. Wide receiver... I just don't know, man. I mean, we've got plenty of wide receivers. We can cut Walker. Maybe next year. Tight ends, okay. I actually don't want to touch my offensive line. Right end. Scott Gore, guy that we picked up in the offseason. And then we're going to cut John Marcus. There we go. Boom. So cut my three dudes. It's unfortunate, but hey, life is hard. Um, I'm glad I got some tacos left over. Oh, Germany's out of the World Cup. Great, the one team I was rooting for. They didn't advance to the final round of 16. Oh well. So I guess, I don't know, I'll root for like Sweden or Belgium. Feel free to comment like who you're rooting for in the World Cup. World Cup is cool. Like, it's just a cool process, you know, how they have like the point system. I think it's great. We'll take a look at our coaches and where their trees are. May have to reset them, you know. As far as defense is concerned. So Coach Central, Coach Skill Trees, see our defensive coordinator. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna reset this skill tree. Alright. That looks a lot better because we need to develop like plus four and all that zone stuff. Oh man, we got a new offensive coordinator. Are you kidding me? All right, we got to reset his skill tree because we got to tailor it. One, there we go. How many do we got? All right, so there's one and then there's one. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna go back into Coach Skill Trees because I forgot to show you something. We guys finally, we got we got Insta Commit going. There we go. Finally, we can scout guys completely. We can get ahead, hopefully. God, I can't. But why do they do this to us, man? Why do they give us terrible offensive coordinators? Let's go ahead and hit that preseason up. I was thinking, like, potentially moving some players around. I mean, like, Jonathan Monroe, as a freshman, I think just because of his potential, I think it's very important that, you know, we give him the starting job because 
you know, I mean, I, we just got to do what we got to do. Let's see if we can redshirt some people. All right, so QB can't redshirt anybody. We're going to go ahead and redshirt uh, Thompson. Going to give him an extra year to develop. Um, let's see. Watkins, we're going to keep you around, dude. Okay, so I'm going to redshirt you. Wide receivers, we got plenty of them. Snyder's a junior. We'll redshirt Roland Christian. Tight ends, we're not going to redshirt anybody. Nobody there. Left guard. We'll give out a red shirt here. Centers. Josh Bishop. Uh, let's give him a red shirt. Right guard. I mean, we can give McKeon a red shirt. Let's go ahead and give it to him. Right tackles. He's already got a red shirt because he was a transfer. Okay. Left end, right end. We got plenty of right ends. Scott Gore, let's give that to him. Defensive tackles. No, nah, we're going to leave that alone. Left outside linebackers, the same. Right outside linebackers. Yeah, we're going to keep that the way it is. Kenneth Williams, there he is. 81. He's got better speed, so we'll put Kenneth number one, Thomas number two, Nelson number three, Haynes number four. And I guess we'll go Tom Davis as number five. Because we're going to have to put speed as a priority in the Big 12. Free safety, we're going to leave Elliott Peoples there. Strong safety, King Peters is going to stay. Kicker, and then punter. Yep. So that looks good enough for me. So we've done our red shirt. Let's set up to the recruiting. So last couple seasons I've created some of the subscribers. Uh, we'll check on Kendrick Hinton's stats for his freshman year uh, after we set everything up. So we're, we're going to need some guys that can come in fast. All right, so we need three defensive tackles. Dang, dude, we need a lot of people. So three defensive tackles, okay. Well, there's a guy that has a second. There's one. Let's see. Let's go to squat. See what their squat is. Hmm. It's from Lawrence, South Carolina. He's a JUCO guy, but he's from North Carolina, from my home state. Let's go ahead and give him a shot. Let's pop in another five-star. So that's four dudes there. We need two strong safeties. Let's go pipeline. So we got 12 matches there. So, there's the number seven guy, 18% lock. Let's see, who's got the lowest lock? 18% is not that bad. So, there's one guy, and then and there we go. So, there's two pipeline dudes. <clears throat> that will help us out. We're going to go back to fullback. Get us another pipeline. Clayton Morton. Let's put both of them on since they're both interested. See which one's better. And quarterback. Hmm. Okay, we really don't have anything going. And the highest are threes. So let's go any. Because I, I want the number one quarterback in the nation. Chuck Reed out of Thomasville, Georgia. 
Chuck Reed or Michael Allen? Let's go both. They're both fives. Might as well hit that up. And then free safety. Ooh, four-star guy has a second. Let's give that to him. We've got 11 on the board. All right, and Spark 100. Number one athlete overall, skills. We'll see, we got a bunch of points here to scout. So we'll go here, we'll go, ooh, I need a tight end. There we go. Do I need a lineman? Let's see, do I need a guard, a tackle, or a center? I'm gonna need a tackle. Dang, dude, there's like nothing for tackles. How is he rated lower? All right, we're gonna go for him. Let's go to our... So there's 1,000 points available, so scout. Corey Hall, Jim. Ooh, Michael Allen's a bust. So is Orlando Alston. All right, so far, let's see, Carl Simmons, 81. TJ Smart, we're gonna move him to number three. It's not looking too good here. Oh, oops. I got to get rid of <clears throat> both of these quarterbacks, man. <clears throat> ah, they're just no good. So, boom, there goes quarterback. There goes quarterback. So I need free safety, strong safety, and a quarterback. All right. So, all right. So, Justin Mills. Anybody interested? That's a four star. You know what? We're gonna go back to the spark. Cause we need we need spark guys at quarterback. Joe Lee out of Eagle Pass, Texas.
Strong safety. 4.4. We'll scout both. And then a free safety. Hmm. He's faster. He's supposed to be faster. Five prospects. We're gonna have to cut down. Dang, there goes Zach Palmer. There goes Joe Leak. There are no quarterbacks, dude. Alright, Buck Bentley's still on the board. Hmm. I've got one more shot at this to find a quarterback. I was wanting to find a decent one. We've only got four dudes. Uh, come on. Did I not scout Justin Mills? Might have to hit him up. All right, Mills, you're it. Please be good. Dang. All right, well, throw power and throw accuracy is okay. So. We'll put him right there. So, 70s, eh. It's an okay recruit class, but we'll see where we are. Dang, I really wanted that guy to be, like, it. Like, the number one. Let's go to custom schedules. Let's see, at Clemson. Nah. Who do we need to play to kind of upset everything? You know what? Let's play Stanford. And then let's play... Could play Florida. Let's play Tennessee. We're going to play Tennessee at home since we played them there. Three buys? Nah. We already have 12 games scheduled for the season. Alright, Stanford, Tennessee. Uh, we gotta play the number one team in the nation, man. Where is that at? Ooh, Florida State. That's gonna be a lot better. UCLA. All right. We need to make this as hard as possible. So there's Bama. I see Bama. Is there anyone in the top five available for week two? Might have to do Stanford for week two. Ooh, Washington. There we go. All right. And then the rest, I guess. Ooh, okay, so I can select this. Last game of the season. What? Old Dominion. I don't want to play Army. 
Oh yeah, let's play Georgia. Okay, there we go. A minus on the schedule. We got number one, number four, and number two. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it. We'll get into the next season. Thank you guys for tuning in. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all later.